in pre-k um since it's wacky wednesday i thought i would read you a story called wacky wednesday and i don't know i think i've been saying it a lot lately maybe you've heard your mom and dad say it a lot lately wow it sure is crazy everything seems so crazy we can't go into regular stores can't eat in restaurants no school I'm so sad about that but i know i say it all the time so i thought it was a little appropriate to read wacky wednesday and is that oh, there's the mummy he usually lives in our garage mummy this is pre-k pre-k this is my mummy so anyway yeah I don't know if I can read with you over my shoulder like that so I'm gonna just turn the camera okay let's see what's going on well well it is definitely wacky Wednesday and we have a bear out here is that a crab and a shoe. Goodness, it's very, very wacky. So I was thinking, if you have this book at home, maybe you could go get it, pause your video real quick, run get this book, come back and read along with me. And then, if you want to, you can pause the story, and then you can find the wacky things on each page, and then turn it back on and we can continue the story. So how about that? All right, wacky. Wednesday by Theo Lissig. All right. It all began with that shoe on the wall. A shoe on the wall shouldn't be there at all. Then I looked up and I said, oh man. And that is how Wacky Wednesday began. You could probably pause it and find a couple wacky things in this picture. I looked out the window and I said, gee, more things were wacky, and I saw three. I went down the hall, and I said, hey, three more things were wacky today. A lot of things are wacky. In the bathroom, more. In the bathroom, four. I began to dress, then I said, wow, Four more things were wacky now. I looked in the kitchen and I said, by cracky, five more things are very wacky. I was late for school. I started along and I saw that six more things were wrong. I bet you can find them all because you guys are so smart. And then seven more. And the Sutherland sisters, they looked wacky too. They said, nothing is wacky around here but you. But look, I yelled, eight things are wrong here at school. Nothing is wrong, they said, don't be a fool. They were so rude. I ran into school and I yelled to Miss Bass, look, nine things are wacky right here in your class. Nothing is wacky here in my class. Get out. You're the wacky one. Out, said Miss Bass. I went out the school door. Things were worse than before. I couldn't believe it. Ten wacky things more. Then I counted eleven. Then 12 worse things. I got scared and I ran. I ran and knocked over Patrolman McGann. I'm sorry, Patrolman. That's all I could say. Don't be smart. So, excuse me. Don't be sorry, he smiled. It's that kind of day. But be glad Wacky Wednesday will soon go away. Only 20 things more will be wacky, he said. Just find them and then you can go back to bed. Wacky Wednesday was gone when I counted them all and I even got rid of the shoe on the wall. So I'm wondering when Wacky Wednesday is over, will my crab be back on the mailbox? Will my shoe be back in my shoe drawer? And will Joshua's big bear be back in his room? I don't know. And I wonder if the mummy will go back home in his garage. Let's say goodbye, 
Mommy, where did you get that hat? Oh my goodness. You see, you let him out of the garage once and he takes over. Silly mummies. All right. I hope you have a great day. It's always a great day in pre-K. Enjoy the rest of your night. Bye.